Coming to you from the Seagal International Centre, welcome to the EAP End of Term Ceremony. At this time, we would like to make an official land acknowledgement. Niagara College acknowledges the land on which we gather as a traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe peoples, many of whom live and work here today. The territory is covered by the Upper Canada Treaties and is within the land protected by the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Agreement. This territory is covered by the Upper Canada Treaties and is within the land protected by the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Agreement. Today, this gathering place is home to many First Nations, Métis and Inuit peoples. And acknowledging reminds us that our great standard of living is directly related to the resources and friendship of Indigenous peoples. And now, to our ceremony. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'd like to thank you all for joining us for our Blue Carpet EAP End of Term celebration. To us, our EAP students are very special, and that's why we've rolled out the special blue carpet just for you. As we celebrate all the hard work and effort that our English for Academic Preparation students have put into this semester, it's with great pleasure that I join you here today to help present our most dedicated students awards and congratulate all of our graduates. At this time, I'm thrilled to introduce Guhan Ilgazli, the Associate Dean of the School of English Language Studies, to officially kick off our celebration. Put your hands together to welcome Guhan Ilgazli. Hello and welcome to all of our Niagara College EAP students and graduates. Our end of term ceremonies are always a little bit bittersweet as we celebrate and congratulate you for your amazing achievements and hard work and dedication towards improving your English language skills, we also say goodbye to so many wonderful students in our program. However, it's important to remember that every end has a new beginning, and as one door closes, another one opens. For those of you who have just finished an EAP level and are moving to the next, good luck with your English studies next term. To our Level 5 graduates, I wish you all the best in your next journey, whether you'll be studying in one of our cutting-edge Niagara College post-secondary programs or if you're starting a new job. I believe you've all gained some invaluable skills with us here in the School of English Language Studies, and I hope you continue to succeed in everything that you do. I'd like to thank our faculty and staff for another incredible term, and a special thanks to Jonathan Belgrave, Natalie and her team for putting together another exceptional virtual end of term ceremony. Now, it's time to relax, sit back and enjoy your ceremony. I wish you all the brightest future health and success. Take care and stay safe. Thank you very much for your opening address, Guhan. As a faculty member, I can tell you that all our students this semester are some of the most incredible, hardworking, and creative people I've had the pleasure of teaching. The group of students that we're going to celebrate next go the extra mile when it comes to their studies, their class attendance, and creating a welcoming class environment for all. It's my pleasure to welcome Taylor Veneri to present the award of Most Dedicated Student for each class. Please join me in welcoming her to the podium. Thank you, Carolyn. It is my pleasure to announce the most dedicated students. Now, may I have the envelope for level one? Okay, and the award for level one most dedicated student goes to Sindri Johanna Colmenares Mendoza. Congratulations, Sindri. Now, may I have the envelope for level two most dedicated student? Ready? Oh, my student, Isabel Cristina Sales Zuniga. Congratulations, Isabel. Excellent. Well deserved. 
All right, now the envelope for level three A, most dedicated student. The award goes to Ana Cecilia Moreno Parra. Congratulations, Ana. And now the envelope for level three B. Ready? Oh, congratulations, Yamir Catalina Utari Camelo. Well deserved, Yamir. Alrighty, now the envelope for 4A. Let's see who the winner is. Congratulations, Giselle Gigante Belandria. Awesome, well done, Giselle. And now, the envelope for level 4B, please. And the award goes to Guangzhou Peng. Congratulations, Guangzhou. Alrighty, the envelope for level 5A, please. Can I get a drum roll, please? And the winner is Luz Marina Avila Gil. Well, well done, Luz. And the envelope for level 5B, please. The award goes to Elias Rangel Perez. Congratulations, Elias. All right, the envelope for level 5C. Thank you. Okay, our final award goes to Thompson Elio Estevez Malhaes. Congratulations, level 5C most dedicated students. Congratulations to all our most dedicated students. Thank you, Taylor, for announcing our most dedicated students. Now it's the moment you've all been waiting for, our graduating students. We'll start by introducing our level 5A valedictorian, Luz Marina Avila Gil. Hello, everyone. Today, as we finish EIP, it's time to say thanks, especially to our families for their continuous support in this project. The teachers for their great effort and enthusiasm, especially when facing the challenges of virtualization. And finally, also to recognize ourselves to believing and persevering in our goals. EIP was a great door to know the world uh, with our classmates. It was very interesting <laughs> to listen English in different accents and understand more about the multiculturalism of our fellow students. In addition to this, we were able to meet wonderful people, make new friends, and share a little more of ourselves. Finally, we are left with the commitment to continue improving every day and continue with our projects as international students. Our gratitude is to all. Thank you and best of luck to everyone. And now our level 5A graduates, Luz Marina Avila Gil, Yu Hang Bao, Jia Hao Fan, Moyen Kui Le, Yuan Shuai Liu, Luis Eduardo Martinez, Hu Ling Nguyen, Germán Adolfo Poloche Morales. Sung Hei Shen, Marcos Vinicius Silva del Duca, Yi Ran Song, Ming Kang Tian, Fung An Tran, Sunao Yamamoto, and Meng Chi Zhang. Congratulations, Level 5A students. And now we'll move to 5B. 
and their valedictorian is Ana Lopez Basan. Hello, NC friends. Today is a special day. It's the end of our first international academic step. I am Ana Lopez Basan, EAP Level 5B student. First, I want to say thank you to all the academic, quarantine, and administrative NC teams. We, as students, appreciate all your hard labor in these pandemic times. Second, I am so happy to have meeting all my amazing classmates. I think everyone gives the best in class. We laugh, we share our thoughts, and we even meet our pets. <laughs> our teachers made an authentic and beautiful work. Each class was fantastic. I remember when teacher Frank made us speak the same sentence in different sense of humor, like angry, happy, or surprised. Or when Miss Shauna told us that when we, drink a cup, a cup, when we drink a cup of coffee or tea and relax, we can feel the text and write in the smart way. Even though this term was online, I have had a wonderful time each morning. I am happy to have learned with our amazing teachers, Charles, Faith, Frank, Shauna, Kelsey and Wendy. We are now part of a community who didn't stop about the worldwide circumstances. We fought and keep moving forward to achieve new goals. That's what makes us unique and stronger. A new chapter of our lives will start and I hope to share new memories with all of you again. Thank you. And now our level 5B graduates. Reda Butalaka. Jushan Chui, Ling Kong Feng, Tiago Flegele de Sosa, Alessandra Gomez Lopez, Qian Guo, Burke Ilhan Ikijan, Yeshin Jung, Jung Sok Lee, Anna Lopez Basan, Xu Ya Ning. Oleksii Polovinchikov, Elias Rangel Perez, Wei Kang Shangguan, Yun Hao Tong, and Fan Ban Huang Fi. Congratulations, Level 5B. And now to our Level 5C valedictorian, Zyudmila Podhorna. Hi. My name is Luda. I'm from Ukraine and I live in Wayland. I'm here representing class 5C. We had some great experience learning English this semester. For example, during the panel discussion, we practiced being panelists and moderators and everybody was very serious preparing and taking part in those discussions. In breakup rooms in our classes, it was fun to share stories about each other lives after um, completing our teacher's activities. We called each other on Instagram and WhatsApp to talk about our classes and our learning and to support each other. There were a few challenges this semester. During the group assignments, it was hard to find free time to um, meet for everyone. With people all over the world in different time zones. In addition, the research essay was challenging. Um, it was long and made us think really hard. We also had to figure out how to do research online. That was not easy. We made some great social connections. We had conversations about culture, learning new things about other cultures and stories about home countries. Maybe someday I will visit some of those other countries. 
We learned some French and uh, Spanish language and I taught my classmates some Ukrainian. We want to say thank you to all the people who uh, work really hard in the EEP program to help students achieve their objectives. My classmates and me are very glad that we have worked with such responsible and professional teachers. They helped us to improve our English level and they supported our group during the whole program. They were a nice team and very friendly people. I hope everyone continue to work hard and I'm sure you will all be successful in uh, your studies and jobs and your life. I wish everyone the best for the future. Thank you. And now our level 5C graduates. Abdullah Ajaj Akiriwani. Diana Marcella Kokoi Mogoyon, Paula Elias Abru, Thompson Helio Estevas Magalah, Jia Wen Gu, Ju Yun Zhang, Jia Ming Li, Jia Yo Li, Hung Liu, Jorge Medina Alka, Yudmila Podorna. Daniela Sanchez Briseno, Tao Tao, Ji Chu Wong, Ji Jie Zhu, and Eureka Kinguimi. Once again, I want to thank you all for joining us for our virtual English for Academic Preparations end of term celebrations. To all of our Level 5 graduates moving on to the post secondary programs, we wish the best of luck in your future studies. For the rest of our grads, enjoy your break. You've earned it. And we'll see you back in class on Wednesday, September the 8th. Congratulations to all of our Level 5 graduates and most dedicated students, all EAP graduates. All the best.